that's, that's all you can think about. All the things that we can ship. This man talking about shipping guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I didn't say it. He said it, alright? I belong, I belong to you. Let's go, my man. Yo. <laughs> well, what's going on, man? We're finally here. We are, man. Yeah, it's been, up? A, been a long time coming, bro. It has been. Well, thank you for joining us. We're here. We're glad that you're here. Uh, my name is Taurus, and uh, this is A Mac, aka A Mac Country Boy, kind of time. Yeah, my people, we inside it. <laughs> a Mac Country Boy. <laughs> So, you know, uh, me, and, me and my boy AMAC, we've been, we've been having some conversations for a while now, over a year, uh, just talking about various uh, challenges uh, in our sphere of influence in our community. Um, specifically, you know, we're from West Africa. We're Liberians. Uh, so we're always talking about uh, just things that are pertinent to the diaspora, right? Uh, things that other uh, expatriates no matter where you, you, you're from in Africa, you know, those things that we, we deem as important to us, right? You know, the growth uh, and the prosperity of our respective nations, uh, how we can get involved, uh, how we can uh, be a, a force for good, even as we're here in a land that is uh, bountiful uh, and, and flowing with, as the Bible says, milk and honey, right? A land as rich <laughs> as America. Uh, you know, how we can take advantage of this great opportunity that we have, right? Because we know our brothers and sisters abroad, uh, many worlds, many nations in the world uh, don't have the opportunities that we have. And it is those theme uh, that brought us here today, right? What we have decided to do is use the, uh, as, as often as we can, right? We'll have many conversations where we feel like we can maybe add value to the community, add value to the viewers uh, by having conversations uh, that are relevant uh, to maybe what's happening now, uh, current events, or just, you know, tips and tricks uh, to, to help us get through certain things. So today we decided that, you know, something that might be relevant, might be important to at least uh, 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 many of you will be this whole idea of shipping. Shipping, yep. Shipping uh, to wherever, right? Uh, shipping to Africa, uh, the continent, the motherland, as we call it. Uh, or the shipping to Asia, uh, you know, I think these things are pretty generic. Uh, where we can we can give some helpful some helpful tips. So, AMAC man, I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna throw it at you because <laughs> I think you are the man when it comes to shipping. You are the you are the, the what, what do we call it? A guru. You are the guru. <laughs> man, thanks for buttering it all up. <laughs> Still trying to butter me up, but anyway, so we're gonna be talking about shipping, right? So when it comes to shipping, the first thing. Um, you need to think about, there are a few things that comes to my mind that I think is very imperative that you, you, need, you need to consider, right? So the first thing I would say, it has to do with, you know, what are you shipping? Second thing, how are you going to package it? What kind of package are you going to use? Third thing, how are you going to ship it? Who are you going to ship it by? You know, how are you going to find a shipper? Is the shipper reliable or not? So first thing, right? What are you shipping? Are you shipping guns? Are you shipping a car? Are you shipping guns? Food? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's all you can think about. All the things that we can ship. You t this man talking about sh shipping guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I didn't say it. He said it. All right. So yeah. So the reason why I mentioned guns, right? Uh, because I don't know the laws, you know, of the very African countries, right? Mm. It might be legal for you to ship a handgun from the United States. That's a good point. But it might be illegal. For example, let's say if you want to ship it to Liberia, it might be illegal. Mm. I don't know that for a fact, yeah. but I'm just putting, putting that out there. Yeah. I know you cannot ship certain illegal substance. Yeah. So you have to do your own research and be mindful of what you know you can ship and what you cannot ship, yeah. right? Yeah. So are you shipping a car? Are you shipping food? If, you, if so, it's, it's the food that you're shipping, is it perishable, right? Mm. So if, take for example, um, your travel time, right? are you going to be in Liberia, I don't know, in the next two weeks? And you're trying to ship a car. And if you do ship that car, is that car going to get that on time? Yeah. I don't know that. So those are things you need to get into and research just a little bit more. Gotcha. And the second thing is packaging, right? So how are you going to package uh, whatever you are shipping? If you, you know, for example, if, I'm, if I bought a TV from Walmart, I would leave it in a packet and let my shipper know that it is very fragile. Please make certain that you put it in a space that it's not 
that, that it's not going to cause any damage to my TV. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've been using this TV at home and you want to ship it, how are you going to package it? Are you going to put styrofoam in a box? Are you going to shrink wrap it? So all those things you need to take into consideration is very imperative that you do because if not, your TV will be damaged mm -hmm. or whatever you're trying to ship will be damaged. Then this, the third thing, which is the most important, how do you find a shipper, right? That's the question. That's the million dollar question you need to answer. How do you find a shipper? Do you, uh, it's not like we have a database, a central database that you can log on to and say, okay, I want to ship to Nigeria. I want to ship to Liberia. I want to ship to Ghana or wherever you're trying to ship in, on the continent of Africa and find a shipper and get a review like Yelp and get a review on the shipper. It's very hard to do. So you have to do it by word of mouth. Well, how do you do that? Where do you go to find a shipper? You have to go to your local churches. You know, I know in a lot of African communities, we have a lot of, you know, local churches. We have associations. Yep. So you can go to those associations and churches and ask, you know, that you're looking for a shipper. And when you do that, you will be able to find some sort of information on a shipper, right? Yep. So the next thing you have to determine is the shipper reliable. Mm -hmm. How do you determine that? That's, the, that's, another, that's another important question. Yeah. So in, for you to do that, you also have to ask by word of mouth in your association or church and you know, do your own little research. And after that, you can make an informed decision that if the individual you're trying to ship by, if they are you know, reliable. Yeah. And to be honest, it is really a crapshoot, but a little bit of research go a long way. Yeah and finding out if you can ship. Because you don't want to ship, you know, something that you pay a lot of money for, and at the end of, at the, end of the day, it get lost or stolen, and you can get your products, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So just be mindful, try to do a thorough research as best as you can, and from that point, make an informed decision. Okay. So with that being said, um, do we know anybody? Well, let me just quickly go back and, and reiterate, right? Okay. So the first thing we said is, what are you shipping? Correct. Right. So that's the first thing we need to be pertinent of. What are you shipping? Thing number two is how are you going to package what you're shipping? Right. Yeah. Are you shipping a car? Are you shipping perishable goods? Like you said, are you shipping arms? Are you dealing arms? Are you shipping drugs? If that's if that's you. Hey, we don't discriminate here. You know, <laughs> we just give information. You use it however you want to use it. We're not endorsing your behavior. All right. Just want to get that clear. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. You got to put it out there. So what are you shipping? How are you packaging it? And then who are you shipping with? Right? Correct. Now, you made a really good point. I think it's just, a, it's, I'm going to just segue for a little bit. The point that, that Anthony made was there is no central database. There is no way we can't go to Yelp or Google reviews and find people saying, I ship with this person. And this was the experience with some kind of a rating. So obviously, you got to take advantage of your network. All right churches, uh, com different associations, your community, whatever. Maybe you have family members that have shipped before, those, those kinds of things. But, I mean, that's an opportunity. I'm really hoping that maybe some entrepreneur, some, maybe somebody who's techie, somebody who's uh, a risky, going to take some risk, and maybe somebody <laughs> should go and, and, and build that database, man, because that's a thing. That's, that's, that's going to be extremely valuable. But anyways, that's another, that's another day, another topic for another day. But, so those are the three things, right? Yeah. What are you shipping? How are you going to package it and who are you shipping it with? Now, don't you know some shippers? I, I think we've had conversations before where you mentioned some guys. Oh, uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I know quite a few. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should. Uh, I'm thinking we probably want to continue this conversation, right? Do another segment where we maybe interview uh, a one, shipper? Of, one of these guys. That'd be cool, I think. I, I think that'd be a great idea. Super useful. I think that would be a great idea. Let's do it, man. Yeah. You know, so that's something, you know, we're going to try to make happen. Um, we can't guarantee it, but we're going to try to make it happen. Uh, I think that would be very useful if we can have a conversation around uh, from an actual shipper, giving him uh, his perspective on things. So I'll tell you what, go down in the comments, give us some questions, man. Maybe there is something you want to know specifically uh, that we can ask the shipper. Maybe there's a particular information uh, that we'll be able to get out of, out of them. And I think that'd be very, very good to help us out, kind of help us navigate uh, how we get you this information. And also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That goes a long way. You know, represent, represent this channel. Help us out. This is the motherland channel, you know, where we're just trying to, like we said, we just want to add to the conversation. You know, we just hopefully, you know, we'll bring you valuable uh, information that, that's going to be relevant to, to you and where you are. Welcome to motherland. Hit that like button. 
And this your boy, Amac. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Bam. Catch Shazam. <laughs>